Welcome to another episode of Teammates. This is the Northern State Men's Basketball Edition, and for the three-time defending conference champions, we got three players. We got the elder statesman Andrew Coleman, we got the sharpshooter Mason Stark, and we got the rim rocker Parker Fox. Now, each of you is going to get four questions. We'll get a score out of four. Best score wins. And we have a tiebreaker just in case. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Yeah. All right, we are going to start with Andrew. So, Andrew, your first question. What was Mason's favorite cartoon growing up? Oh, man. Uh, Favorite cartoon, I'm going to say Tasmanian Devil. (laughs) Oh, off to a bad start. Mason said, Courage the Cowardly Dog. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Why Courage. I don't know. I've always liked ho- like horror movies, and I felt like that cartoon was kind of scary and, I don't know, interesting, so I've always liked it. I was going to say, you were like an infant when that came out. Yeah, I know. I was young, for sure, but, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Andrew's 0 for 1. The second question for Andrew. What does Parker say is the best prank he ever pulled on a teammate? Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a tough question. That's a tough, um, tough one. Best prank he's ever pulled. It's gotta be something to do with like putting someone's hand under the basket and dunking on them during practice. Something like that. I, I don't know who it would be, but that's my guess. Mm. Nope. Oh for two. Uh, Parker said it was when he moved Gabe King's car. Oh. I do remember that. Yeah, because Gabe, Gabe would leave his keys in his car, so we would just start it and then move it into random locations. We all had fun with that prank. <laughs> all right, Andrew, you, you need to catch up because you're 0 for 2. Third question. What NBA player does Mason believe is the most overrated? God, these are tough questions. Um, I are designed that way. I know, seriously. Um, Mason thinks Steph Curry is the most overrated player. No, Westbrook. Oh, you said that the other day, didn't you? I literally said it. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, yes, Mason did say Russell Westbrook. Why? Why do you think Westbrook's overrated? I don't know. He has a lot of energy and stuff. I just think he turns the ball over too much and isn't really uh, efficient enough. Last question for Andrew. Who does Parker say would play him in a movie about his life? Which actor would play Parker in a movie about his life? That's you. That's the hardest question. That's a hard question. All of these are hard questions. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Parker, who would Parker say? It's gotta be a, I, don't, I don't know any tall actors. I'd say someone goofy. I know Will Ferrell is like 6'5". Um, I'm gonna go with Will Ferrell just because he's the closest height to Parker Fox. That's the only one I can think of. You got the goofy part right, but the wrong actor. He said Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Oh, oh, oh that would actually be a good one, yeah. Uh, he's good got one. the face he's got, he's got the jawline and everything, yeah. I, uh, yeah the actually. weird thing about this is I went and took a quiz online and said, who would play you as an actor in a movie? And I got Meryl Streep, but uh, Rocco, <laughs> told me, <laughs> Rocco told me to go with Jim Carrey, so we'll go with that. <laughs> All right, Andrew, unfortunately 0 for 4, so you got to hope the other guys aren't as good as you. We're going to go to Mason now. So, Mason, first question for you. What did Andrew say is his favorite nickname? Uh, AK. AK or AK-47? You got it. <laughs> that was so much easier. Uh, hey, it's, it's all random stuff, but yes, Mason, that was, that was somewhat easy. Uh, I'll, even I'll admit that. But all right, you're one for one. Question two: What did Parker say is his favorite dunk he's done so far at Northern? Uh, I'm gonna go with the 360 at Crookston. <laughs> Close, right? Right venue, wrong dunk. Oh, what was what? it? You like dang. the end one oh, against yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I didn't think about that. All right. Yeah, that was that was early. That was like, what, your like fifth game or something like that? Yeah, that was definitely early freshman year. I mean, well, redshirt freshman year, but yeah. Right in the face, you got the end one. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Of course, we've been we've been privy to a lot of good dunks, but <laughs> your, 
You're one for two, Mason. Uh, third question. If Andrew had to cook a team meal and needed to make sure that everyone would like it, what would he cook? Oh, I'm gonna have to just go with uh, burgers. And randomly guessing, you get it right. Are you the grill master, Andrew? I'd say Parker, me, or Gus are pretty good on the grill. All right, Mason, you're two of three. Last one. How long did Parker say he could realistically survive without his phone? So it's not necessarily what you think, it's what he thinks. Okay. I'm going to go with a day. Yep, you got it. A day. Let's go. <laughs> Look Come at on, that. Parker. Why are you so good at that? Come on, Parker. <laughs> hey, I said overnight, but... <laughs> he said maybe if you were asleep, he also put a day. So I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll give it to him. So Mason, hey, much like your three-point shooting, you were three of four in this one. And so Parker... No pressure, Parker. Yeah, Parker, you got to get them all right to win, gotta get three right to tie. Get so, it. Four questions for Parker. First one, what was Mason's first job? There's no way I know this. Um, maybe working like some sort of, some sort of fast food or like ice cream spot down in Arizona. <laughs> nope. No way. I, I didn't even know this was an actual job, but flag football referee, you actually got paid to referee <laughs> flag football? <laughs> No way. <laughs> uh, that had to be like the easiest job in the world. <laughs> it's easy, but I got paid, so it counts. That, that's true. That's true. All right. So now, Parker, you need to get the rest of them right just to tie. Second question. What did Andrew say is his favorite TV show of all time? TV show... I don't think it's The Office, so I'm going to go Friends. No. Oh, a little more serious. Uh, it was either Criminal Minds or Suits. Oh, yeah, you like those kind of shows. Yeah. I'm a Suits fan. I like Suits. I wish it never suits went off the air. Awesome. But I love me some Suits. All right, it's it's academic at this point, but we're still gonna we're still gonna finish up. So, third question: What does Mason believe is the funniest movie of all time? Dumb and Dumber. No. Step Brothers, Catalina Wine Mixer, come on. Yeah. Classic. It's a good one. All right, last one. one. What did Andrew say is his biggest pet peeve? I'm going to go four for four as well. I mean, oh for four as well. Um, Biggest pet peeve for AK. Uh, Think about yourself. <laughs> Basketball wise. I don't even know. Don't know? No, I mean, I, I have no guess. I mean, maybe he's not, he not he doesn't care about messes. Um, I'll just go with like chewing your gum too loud. I don't know, I, don't, I have no idea. Well, he said basketball wise, and he specifically pointed to you when he responded to me saying complaining to the refs. Ah, <laughs> no. not me? I hate, no. I hate, I hate when people complain to the refs. It's just annoying. So Parker and Andrew both go 0 for 4, and Mason goes 3 for 4. So the, the sharpshooter wins. Congrats, Mason.